Hello, and welcome to Lydia Hawk Design. Today, I want to talk about the Singer Tiny Serger. The model number on mine is TS380+. Plus. I found this serger at a thrift shop, and it was so inexpensive that I just had to buy it and see if it worked. As my husband and I came to find out rather quickly, this model is notorious for not working or kind of stuttering and staggering as it sews. There's this tiny gear in the motor that splits and doesn't work properly. There is a video of a gentleman who used pliers to press it together and then he was able to bond it and it worked. And unfortunately, Singer does not support replacement parts for this serger. There is someone on eBay who sells this tiny gear. It's a 3D print. It's a little expensive and I already have mold rubber. I use Alumilite mold rubber and I pour plastic resin. So I thought I would go ahead and try to make a mold and fix it myself. What's interesting about this if you look at the gear right next to the tiny gear, that larger gear actually has the exact same nine tooth, two millimeter gear on top of it. It's bonded to it, they're not separate, but it's a perfect replica of the broken tiny gear. So I took my mold rubber and I poured a mold. I'm going to link to exactly how to pour a Lumalite Amazing Mold Rubber because there's a really great video that shows you how to create the portions, how you're supposed to pour it precisely, and the protective gear you're supposed to wear. And I just can't do better than they do at showing you how to do that. So I'm gonna leave it to them, the experts, and just then move on with exactly what happened with our mold. I made a few mistakes along the way. I forgot that you're not supposed to pour the mold into certain types of cups and so it didn't cure 100%. So I just had to take it out of the cup that I put it in and leave it to finish curing for a few hours. I also molded it upside down accidentally, but actually was okay. Um, my husband was able to drill a hole in the center and then he was able to cut or sand away any overflow bits it's such a tiny mold that i each time inevitably poured a little too much so as it cured it would bubble at the top and he was able to smooth and shape the top and the bottom and then put it together oiled it and after a couple of tries we got a working gear <laughs> So for anyone who would like to try repairing their own gear for the Singer Tiny Serger, this is a great way to do it. You can get Alumilite Amazing Mold Rubber, usually at Michael's, Joanne Fabric, Hobby Lobby, AC Moore. I would just call first and make sure that they have it. It's a great inexpensive way to replicate a part that's hard to find. If you've got a part that you can mold and then for the plastic, I use fast cast. Uh, it cures white and it 
in my experience, has always been a great, handy, inexpensive, and durable plastic. And it's also something that you can usually get at the craft hobby store. I would just make sure that you get a material that cures white plastic because it's easy to mistakenly get like a clear resin, which would not be appropriate for this. And of course, if you know someone with a 3D printer, a very nice gentleman out there created an STL file that you can throw a few dollars at one of your friends to 3D print for you. Thank you for watching. If you like my videos, please subscribe to my channel. Hit the bell for instant notifications. Thanks for stopping by and have a great day.